Hi friends, today let's talk about Mughanayak. The dumb hero, the hero of the voiceless. Actually, what is the importance of this term in Indian histories? Now we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of journalism of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and the first fortnightly, which was published from 1920 on every Saturdays, the 100th anniversary of that fortnightly, which was named Moog Nayak by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. We are celebrating the 100th anniversary now. And this is the most important turning point in even the journalistic history of India. Because Dr. Ambedkar was invited to testify before the South Borough Committee. And along with him, he was representing the lower caste in India. And Vitel Ramji Shinde was invited for testifying the problems of other forward caste. And when this was reported in the newspaper, the most important and most significant concern raised by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar before the committee was not given sufficient space in any newspapers of India. And Dr. B. R. Ambedkar came to know about the media prejudices against the lower caste and need of an, an own platform to give more space and more concern to the problems of the lower caste in India. And he started collecting money for this venture and with the help of his sponsor, a mentor, Shahuji Maharaj, he managed to gather sufficient money to start a fortnightly. As he was a government servant during those time under the state of Baroda, he never became officially associated with this even though he was the de facto editor of that fortnightly. It was Pandurang Nandaram Bhatkar who was actually uh, nominated as the editor in charge of that. He was a portrait employee and he was an activist too. And Ambedkar was actually doing the work. And everywhere he used the pseudonym Ek Mahar. And Ambedkar started several newspapers in his history. In an exam point of view, that is also important. First newspaper started by Ambedkar, as I said early in 1920, it was Mughanayak. Then it was Bahishkrit Bharat in 1927. Then Samada and Janada. Samada was started in 1928 and Janada in 1930. And even after independence, even after the drafting of constitution, after his resignation from the cabinet, he started a new newspaper called Prabuddha Bharat in 1956. So Ambedkar, along with an activist, along with a freedom fighter, constitutional, the founder or father of Indian constitution, Above all these things, he had a thriving journalistic career also, which actually reshaped the destiny of the lower caste in India. Thank you.